The FDA recently approved the use of an implantable lens called the Vision Toric ICL. It is designed to correct nearsightedness and astigmatism. But is this procedure for everyone? Joining us with more details, renowned eye surgeon Dr. Brian Boxer Wachler of the Boxer Wachler Vision Institute. Welcome, sir. Good morning. Good to be here. So, what is it called? It's the, the Vision Toric ICL? Is that what it's called? The technical name is the Vision Toric. I see. Okay. okay. Right. What is it? It's an implantable lens. And what we do with this is for people who are nearsighted, and the FDA approved it now, mm -hmm. people who have astigmatism with nearsightedness, is we can essentially painlessly place it in about nine minutes right behind your iris. And it just sits there. So it's like an implantable lens that corrects your vision. Wow. And it essentially gives people like that HD quality wow. vision. It's amazing. So the procedure, how does it work? You kind of gave us an idea. The fact that it's nine minutes is pretty impressive. And if people are nervous, we have Valium almost in Pez dispensers. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but what we're doing is we're making a little opening at the edge of the cornea, the windshield of the eye, and we essentially insert it through this little injector, and oh, you'll wow. see it unfold. And then we tuck it right behind the iris, and it's a uh, they're painlessly sitting for years and years and years. And it's a little bit like having a dental filling where you have a little implant in your tooth, don't even know it's there. Uh -huh. This Vizian Toric ICL is wow. just like that. Now, I, when you're talking about the eyes, you don't want a mistake. <laughs> And, and you don't want something that's, you know, oh, we figured out this is not a great thing to do later on. Are there risks? Any procedure, of course, has risks. Mm -hmm. But the great news about this Vizian Toric ICL is the risks are exceedingly low. In my practice, we've never had anybody get an infection ever. Mm -hmm. Nobody's ever lost their vision or gone blind. So that's really reassuring to people. Mm. How does the Vizian Toric ICL differ from other procedures that we know, like LASIK? Well, LASIK is a great procedure. I've been doing it also for a very long time, but studies have shown really hands down that the quality of vision, especially when people become more nearsighted, is much better with the ICL. Like, especially people who have even Coke bottle glasses mm -hmm. than with LASIK. And that's why people will say often, oh my gosh, like, this is like having HD TV vision. Mm -hmm. And LASIK in higher prescriptions particularly just can't do that yeah. because we're putting this lens right on the interior of the eye versus pushing the limits with LASIK for those higher prescriptions, mm -hmm. which we really don't well, want to do. What's considered a higher prescription? Personally, I like to do the Vizian lens in people that are over minus five and minus six diopters of nearsightedness mm -hmm. and higher. And that's where those studies really show the quality of vision just yeah. like explodes with the ICL versus LASIK. Over time, do you have to have it replaced if, if your vision is continually deteriorate, deteriorating? Most of the time, the ICL is just going to be there for the long haul because the lens itself doesn't change, right? It's an inert lens, whereas on your cornea, your cornea can change over time. So mm -hmm. we see people with very stable prescriptions for many, many years. And, and what's the age group? Do you, how young can you be to get it, and how old would you stop doing it? Before I came to the studio this morning, I did an ICL on a patient, and she had just turned 18 years old. Mm -hmm. This was her birthday present mm -hmm. from her parents. And is that sort of the, the lowest you should go? or That's usually the lowest I'll go. Mm -hmm. um, there are some rare exceptions if somebody had a stable prescription who was younger, but usually you want to wait till they're 18. Mm -hmm. And then in terms of people being older, you know, in their 40s and 50s, those certainly, those people can be good candidates too. Okay. Well, for more information about this implant, you can check out the Boxer Walkler Vision Institute website. Follow Dr. Brian on social media as well. Thanks for being here. Thank it's you. a pleasure.